But yeah, I don't I don't like talking about streaming and everything here in my chat. If you guys are streamers, send me a DM. We'll talk in whispers and stuff. Preferably Discord. I'll answer all your questions. Help you guys out. I, I, I know you're behind the gun and Goldie Bear. It sucks. But some people just don't get it. And I can I can give you solid advice. I've been there. What is this trailer? Uh, it is a construction rig. It, it's a, it's a gen uh, it's a it's a generator looks like electricity generator. Looks like it has like a way for it to get cooled or something or I don't know. It looks like construction or uh, generator for construction sites. Alright, so that's stuck on a rock right there. That's fine. Um, I can deal with this. Crap, I can't reach that telephone pole, huh? There we go. Now I can reach it. Get past the rock! Alright, sweet. It was so hairy. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, we got the Fleet Star right now. It's not going to be the best experience in the world. We just got to get back to Smithville and go all the way down that hill. I think I can stop and get some gas, too, on the way back around. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, we got to go follow this road. Good thing I can drive. Wait, what's going on? People, people know why they get banned access. They just don't want to tell anybody. They got sponsors. Tay Wizard, that uh, call me by my Twitch name, please. You are not my son. You're not my. You're, no. Try again. Access. People know why they get banned. They just don't want to tell you because they don't want sponsors to find out. They don't want to get made fun of. They don't want Twitter to attack them. People. People know why they get banned. Twitch is very. Twitch is very thorough. And a lot of the older partners have a partner like rep that will that that work with them and tell them why. Hi Tay Wizard, how are you, buddy? Hope you're well, my friend. Twitch Twitch does some things right, they do other things wrong. But the but the consensus hive mind, all, all the all the people who don't know what's going on behind the scenes will claim that nothing happens behind the scenes, that there's no transparency, blah 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 blah. But in reality, people just don't want to tell. They try and damage control, they try and delete bots and clips and delete tweets and everything else to try and hide it. People still find it. You missed the Justin.tv days? Justin.tv was a little weird. There, there were there were a few more suicides on there on a, on a weekly basis I'd care to talk about. I'm kind of glad there, there's some kind of moderation now on the, on the site to keep things like that from happening. We get the same things now, but they happen off stream, and then someone schedules a, a VOD to happen like the day afterwards. A premiere. Striker, they tried doing that with League of Legends back in the day. League of Legends had like this whole court system thing and this guy thought he was holier than thou and everybody who got banned, he would like post their entire rap sheet. And boy, did it, 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 it was great for the transparency, but it caused a lot of issues. Rem, I'm not going to speculate, and technically it's against terms of service to talk about streamers who are banned and why they get banned, and I don't want to get banned. So that's not a topic we can discuss in here, I'm sorry. Not him specifically, it's just I, I can't discuss banned streamers on Twitch. There's a reason why they're banned.
So I don't know what to tell you on that. The thing I'm hauling is very large. It is. And yeah, Pexer, same same thing. He knows he just didn't want to tell anybody. Especially someone as as big as them. But but we can't we can't discuss it. No, no speculation. No need to, to further the conversation. Let's just change the subject. That's okay, Rem. I just I'm just letting you know. The the bigger streamers talk about it and stuff, they they have a little more leeway than someone like me does. I can't do a lot of the things a bigger... And, 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 fun fact, in case you didn't know, there's different tiers of partners. I'm at the very bottom tier of partner. I'm not... I'm not able to get away with a lot of stuff the other partners can get away with. Well, Brainiac, sure. Sure. Is there a first-person mode? Yeah. I just don't like it. Because you don't want to drive first-person mode in this game. You want to be able to know what the hell you're doing, otherwise you're going to crash. You need to be able to see obstacles. You need to be able to see your way around things. You need to be able to see what you're stuck on. If you're in first person, you can't see any of that. You got to see what you got to winch to. You got to check where the water level is. Mayor of Space, let's not continue the discussion. That's the second time I'm going to say it and the last time. Anyone else who does, they're going to get timed out. Rule number two. Thank you. Ram, I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for coming back in and hanging out. I've missed you being here. How was your weekend? Managing the trailer for the most part. Besides that one stump, I think we've done a pretty good job with it so far. The the Fleet Star has a pretty good power to power ratio on, on top of it. I will give it that. It's the only big truck I have here in Michigan, so I gotta deal with it. I gotta take this thing all the way down the mountain though. Weekend was chill. Awesome. That's good to know. Well, thank you for lurking and, and hanging around. Good to have people on all fronts. All right, we're gonna be driving down the mountain. We'll be coming down the mountain. She come. Bananas are the best fruit. I would so. That's a great opinion, and I would agree with you on that. Except kiwis. Kiwis are pretty good. I think I think a faster a fruit spoils, the better it is. What's up, Goldie Bear? All front can't be fronts, though. Wouldn't at least one have to be a back? Brainiac, what? Hear me out. Blueberries. So blueberries have. Uh, I've I've eaten more tart blueberries in my life than I have sweet blueberries. So if I if I have experienced more sweet blueberries up to this point, I would agree with you. But I don't like tart blueberries. Is this mission that going across the water for the best option? I'm not going down that hill, damn devil dog. But yes. But I gotta go down that hill first. And that hill is not something I want to try to do. Not when this is the only this is the only truck I have in Michigan. I don't want to reset the mission or try to recover the truck. I'm trying not to get in trouble. This is hard mode. Have you eaten any organic blueberries directly off the bush? No, I don't live in an area where blueberries flourish. Wait, mustard? Who says mustard? 
kiwi and mangoes are awesome. Apples or watermelon. Mustard on watermelon. What? Speedworks, what? Ramblings of a madman? Don't mind you. I'm confused, Brainiac. You madman. Mew, I, I live in an area where, where pears are very plentiful. Where oranges are somewhat found. A a apples to a degree, but not really. We're, we're more of a citrusy kind of place. Blueberries, I, I don't think blueberries are citrus, are they? Am I corn fused again? Yes. Apparently it's a thing. Uh, is it a British thing? It's not an American thing. I think this wide berth here. But they give us this dirt here for the trailer. Uh oh. Uh oh. You like oranges and tangerines? So when I when I was in a marching band, we used to do fruit sales for uh, uniforms and stuff, and I learned of a tangelo. That was a, that's a neat, interesting fruit. Speedworks, I feel like that's just a TikTok thing for views. It's not a real thing, dude. Don't believe anything on TikTok as being a real thing. People are just stupid. Remember last year when people were licking toilets during COVID? That's not something people actually do. It's just a TikTok thing. If that's where you're getting your basis for regular things in the world, you're 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 skewed, my friend. Go outside. Yeah, TikTok's not TikTok's just a bunch of stupid people trying to make money. They make money because you watch them do stupid things. <laughs> yep, bitter. That's how, that's what the internet's been for the last 20 years. How you doing, Dino? Welcome back in, bud. Blueberries are berries and citruses are fruits. Is a blueberry not a fruit? Now I'm confused. Speedworks, you've probably seen it because of that. It's not, it wasn't a thing ever, ever. No, Brainiac, I haven't. I don't have Netflix. I've seen bits and pieces of it, though. All berries are fruit, but not all fruits are berries. Okay, cool. Berries are fruits. Okay. You find it free online. Totally worth the watch. Yeah, I'd rather not pirate it. I, I, I like Bo. I've... I've been subscribed to his YouTube for like 15 years, 16 years. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna scalp him like that now. He he deserves it. Some some things I'll I'll watch. Like if it's if it's that like if it, if it's some stupid like. Like, like the whole Mayweather versus Luke Paul or whatever thing, I'll I'll watch that secondhand because that was just stupid. That's not worth anybody's money at all. It was just a scam. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I just watched highlights, and it was enough for me to be like, yeah, this is dumb. Oh, I I know Brainiac. I've I've seen those. I've I've seen them. Carlo, you're you're perfectly fine, dude. It's just okay to it's okay to be incorrect around here. Some people are a little rough, though. That's why we have exclamation point actually in our chat. To kind of get those people involved and in being conscious of what they're doing. But we try we try not to have that too much. I, I'm guilty of it myself. Some people come in here sometimes and just say all kinds of weird stuff. And when someone's being like, way out of left face. I usually ask for sources. 
People get angry when I do that. That usually means that they're wrong. You, usually when, when you're having a discussion or an argument with somebody, the first person who gets mad or calls someone a name is usually the loser of that argument. That's a good tell in case you ever get into a discussion with somebody. That's why the internet's kind of a dangerous place to have discussions on. Because people often revert to that. As a, as a combat mechanism. I need to go find someone else to lurk. I really don't want to watch this person here. I'd rather just do that. Okay. How the internet's been for the last 20 years remind me of the part where he's talking about the internet before 99. Oh, I, yeah, you're talking about the one song. I know. The Welcome to the Internet song. He didn't really talk, talk much about the internet. He just touched on it for like a minute. Yeah, Carlo, a lot of us have, if you've been on the internet long enough. <laughs> but but wisdom is learning to move on from that and learning that, you know, it's just it's just not worth it sometimes. I had a friend of mine be in a really bad mood one day and I was like, what's going on? Oh, I already got into three arguments on Reddit today. I'm like, stop. But they're wrong. I'm like, I don't, dude, stop. <laughs> Arguing with idiots on Reddit is your first mistake. <laughs> Just let it go, man. Like, just move on. Some things are, are just not worth your time. And, and at the end of the day, it's okay for people to have different opinions. Here's, here's two things I don't like in my chat room, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover them right now, so you, that way you guys understand. I don't like my chat to become a gym locker room. Speedworks is very guilty of this. Someone's like, oh, I like so-and-so's team. Your team sucks. My team's better. I, I don't like that. If someone likes somebody, that's fine. And what I also don't like is if someone has a different opinion on something, that's okay too. If they don't like what you don't like, you don't have to argue someone as to why they should like it. Just say okay and move on. Because it, it, people of a certain age, you're not going to change their mind. People are old, people are dumb, people are stubborn on the internet. People are going to have opinions to say okay and just continue on with something else. Because you're either going to end up causing a massive argument where people don't care or you're going you're gonna to make yourself so angry that you're going to have a bad day over just some random person on the interwebs. So just embrace that we're unique love each everybody the way you would want to love yourself and let's just make a good day out of it at the end at the, at the end of the day shall we and then you don't have to worry about much you only do that with friends yeah but speed works you gotta think in an 85 person chat like we have right here if you do that inside jokes are the worst things when you're trying to have new people come in because it turns them off. If you go into someone's chat and the entire chat is nothing but inside jokes and, and, and inside things with each other and, and, and banter between each other and no one else gets it, people aren't going to stick around because they'll be like, well, I'm, I don't belong here because I don't know what the hell is going on. So you, you got to kind of let go of that a little bit. That's something better for like a Discord conversation or like a DM or something. Or for like, you know, like a five person chat where you're like, it's just five of you guys and you all know each other. But to do, because what happens is someone's gonna come in from outside who doesn't know what's going on, and they're gonna think it's a legit disagreement and they're gonna start chewing your ass out. And now all of a sudden, we got a bona fide argument on our hands and who's left to deal with it? And that's not fun. And back, welcome back Evie. What if I hate myself, then I can hate everyone else? I mean, there are people that do that, damn devil dog. But I'm hoping at least you put that aside for today and just kind of relax and enjoy the truck humming along. Rem, so here's the thing about about that. If it's, if it's a discussion that we're all having and someone claims something as a fact, I usually ask for sources. If the person can't provide a source, 
Or, or like one time I had somebody, I was like, can you please give me a source on what you're saying? They're like, just look it up, bro. No. You, 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 you are the burden of your own proof. If you make a claim on the internet, you got to have a source. And it can't be an opinion page. It can't be some person's WordPress. And it can't be some Facebook post. It has to be a legitimate, rep reputable source. So, Rem, I, I, I don't just take people's things at face value a lot of the times. We'll have discussions. A lot of people copy and paste straight from Wikipedia. TJ, oh my am, Brainiac's done it a few times. And, and, and Wikipedia, it's not 100% a, a credible source, but more or less, it's going to kind of guide you in the right direction. Well, J-Rock, Wikipedia... If you link something and I click it to read it and it says it was last edited five minutes ago, I'm not going to believe it. Unless it's like someone who just died and I can verify it with another source. Sometimes you got to triangulate your information. But if that's your only source for it, then it's probably not a good source. You know what I mean, J-Rock? Usually, usually if something's a fact, there's more than one place that has it listed as a fact. Wait, what, Rem? I don't understand what your sentence was just then. There, there's a time and a place... That there's a lot of articles on Wikipedia that are fine. They're copy and pasted from, like, the encyclopedia, and they're great. And they haven't been touched in a long time, and that, that's okay. Because the encyclopedia is pretty, pretty trusted. But, like, when it comes to, like, other stuff, there, there's a bunch of wishy-washy gray area. But, yeah, sources are, are good. And, and here's the thing in my chat. I don't allow links. I do give perms if someone asks for it. Subscribers can post links. But just because you can doesn't mean that you should. And if you want to post something, ask permission first. If you're just going to come in here and post a bunch of links, then you're not going to last very long in the chat. Oh, my am slipped up a few times. I'm like, hey, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Well, I'm showing somebody something. I don't, I don't care ask first like yesterday he was like hey can i show friggin nug something something i'm like no post it in discord because there's a time and a place for things oh rem i it so is that the youtuber's word it wasn't made up for views or was that something that was legitimate because it, it could have just been made up just to get somebody to walk click on their video Ram. You got to be careful about that. But but sometimes Wikipedia, if it's somebody of note on the on there, they require like some verification of some kind. I just went around and was talking to you guys and completely drove by the drilling site. I guess I can get fuel while I'm here. They showed proof. I mean, Rem, I I can I can pull up proof too make up stuff for a YouTube video. YouTube video, you got to think, YouTube videos require a lot of planning and a lot of editing. I'm not saying it's it's 100% false, but it also could just be for the views. How you doing, Hayden? Welcome in. But I mean, they, they probably just needed him to verify his identity before he edited stuff about him. Maybe, maybe because he's a bigger popular person, that page gets edited a lot. And they're trying to slow down how many edits are being done. So they want people who are verified or, or confirmed real to deal with it. It could be a whole plethora of reasons. Wikipedia has a way to keep people from, like, spam editing things. So it could have just been, like, you know, a shoot from the hip reaction. When, all, when, when in reality, all they had to do was verify some information and they can edit the info. Otherwise, you can go in there and be like, Taradra has a 12-inch dong, and he's 7 foot 8, blah, 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 blah. Because, like, I know I know for the longest time, uh, Tyler1, he has a Wikipedia page, and his height got changed every day because people like to meme and say that he's really, really tall and really, really short and everything. And his height would get changed every day. So the Wiki Wikipedia admins had to step in and stop that from happening. So, I mean, it happens. 
It could just dope a red flag. Too many changes. They need a verification. Verifying Mac IDs, IP addresses, things like that. And once you got verified, it's probably fine. Oh, that's fine, Rem. Mistakes happen. But yeah, like I said, Wikipedia is not 100%, but it, I mean, it, it's all about context at the end of the day. But yeah, if you're going to come in and make... Uh, there, there's a viewer that watches me. I don't know where he lives, but he's English as a second language. And what was it? He came in. There, there was an event happening. What was the event? Either there was a meteor passing by really close. Or it was like one of the the full moon events or something. It was it was it was a big event that wasn't going to happen for a long time. Either way, it, astrological event. And he came into my chat and he was like, "Taradra, are you ready?" And I was like, "Ready for what?" And he was like, "Are you ready for the demons to be re re released upon the earth?" And I was like, "What are you referencing, man?" He's like, "I'm referencing." He said the event. And I'm like. I think we'll be all right, man. I think we'll be all right. Just, just, just hang out in your house; it'll all pass. Oh yeah, no, Rem. I know, I know. I'm not. I didn't say they were 100, percent but like I said, having having balancing information off of two different sources is probably a better thing. Unless it's like you know, sometimes a research paper released by a college can only be done by that college, and you know they're. There's there's time and places for things like that. What are we? What are we? What is going on here? Move the truck. There we go. Trust but verify exactly. And and there's some people in here that I would that I would trust with information firsthand more than anybody else. And there are some others I'm a little shaky about. It all depends on you know how i know you where i know you from what kind of information you provide on a regular basis and things like that if you just come in and start barking stuff you're probably not someone i trust but if you're someone who uses kappa a lot like me you're going to be harder to trust than others rest in peace offense all i gotta do is reload the map and it comes back it's not that bad of a thing Uh, we're stuck on this rock here, and I can't get off of it unless I back myself up. 